Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're doing a haul, try on, get ready with me style video. I just bought a bunch of things from all different kinds of places and I just got my BoxyCharm so I have a basket full of things and I know that last week I kind of did a subscriber challenge, high end to drugstore, drugstore to high end. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them in iCards, but basically I challenge you depending on what's your favorite place to shop, whether you're a drugstore girl or whether you like to shop at Ulta or Sephora. And I challenged you to get the opposite price point of product. I shared with you guys a bunch of die hard true products and I thought that was really cool. So I thought that I would challenge myself. So in this haul, I also bought three things that I've wanted to buy for so long, but I just couldn't make myself do it because they were a little higher priced. And um, I'm gonna try them out and see kind of what I think. And I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone doing that. So I feel like I'm kind of accepting the challenge for myself as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got to try it on for you guys on camera. Um, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. And uh, let's get started. Eyebrows are done and I'm gonna start with the eyes. And I don't have any new palettes, but I have palettes that I've literally used one time and haven't picked them up again like the Alamar Cosmetics palette. I haven't really used it after that BoxyCharm video, um, which is so freaking crazy because the colors in here are gorgeous. So I thought I would use this. Also the Hard Candy Look Pro Matte Palette. I used to just absolutely love this palette and I haven't used it in so long. So I thought we would kind of use that to create something quick on the eyes. So I, did, I do have some February BoxyCharm products in here. I didn't have a chance to film a BoxyCharm video. Do you guys like watching my BoxyCharm try-on videos? Let me know in the comment section because I feel like you guys don't like that. So I don't know why I do those then. I'm going to get into this palette and I'm going to get into this color right here. And I'm going to put that in above the crease as a kind of like a transition shade. It's a cooler brown. So last week I had, last week's videos were kind of like a subscriber challenge. So I shared with you guys my favorite high-end makeup that I think if you are a drugstore lover, you should try. And I did the same thing with drugstore. So with my high-end girls or girls that like to buy things from like Sephora or think that those are the best and drugstore is terrible, I recommended specific drugstore products that I kind of stand behind and I think they're wonderful. And I challenged you guys to try, to pick one thing, go buy it and try it. And let me know what you guys think. So I kind of was thinking about that and I was like, you know what, there's products that I want to try and that other YouTubers recommend, but I'm like, that's expensive. Like, why would I go try that? What if it's terrible? It's just one product. And I challenged myself to go get three things. So I'm so excited to try those things. So I'm gonna get into this color next into the crease and the transition. I'm lifting my eye up a little bit so I can really get into that crease. That's okay, I'm gonna go into Coco Taxi. I am going to go into, oh, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a tiny bit of this purple like in the outer corner. I don't know if peach and purple go well together, but maybe with the gold it will. This could be a horrendous look. I don't even know. I'm just deepening, deepening my outer corner out. So some of the products that I got that I'm so excited. First off is NARS Orgasm. Everyone had talked about that forever. And I was like, okay, freaking 25, 30 bucks for one blush. I'm never gonna try that. Is it really that good? Is it really that good? And I decided finally, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm going to go to El Malicón right here, which is a gold shade. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Whoa. Super gold super in your face. Maybe a little bit of La Costa. 
this inner part. Metallic. That is so metallic right now. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and blend the edges out. Trop Tropico right there and carefully just add a little bit of warmth, like, whoa, super pigmented, just above. Like that purple. You're gonna put a little bit of purple on top. That's interesting. Sorta. Literally what I do. I like to try weird things because sometimes weird combinations look so weird but like satisfyingly cool. Okay, so this we actually got in our BoxyCharm. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've only ever gotten the small one. I've never tried the big one, so I'm putting that on. Wow, it's really, really good. The brush was always is always super teeny in the travel, like little trial size. Wow, I've never tried a full size before. It's actually pretty good. I am very impressed. And this is like a heavy duty, like nice packaging. I'm actually super impressed. Whoa, my lashes look long. Okay, moving on. We have, I got a, I have a couple different primers. And I also have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Fix It Serum Hydrating, Hydrates Skin Coconut Oil Hyaluronic Acid. It's a hydrating serum. So I thought I would put that on as skincare first really quickly and try it. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Mm. Feels good. Mm. Feels good. It's smooth. Super smooth, smooth and silky. I love serums, you guys. Oh, I love serums. It's giving me like a tacky finish. Okay, I also have the Hard Candy Pore Defense Sheer Envy Primer Serum. This one's a serum as well, but this is an actual primer. Pore Defense Primer Serum. It's oil free and silicone free. Yeah, I'm gonna try this on half my face. Whoa. It feels really smoothing and refreshing. Oh my goodness. I actually really like this. It's super thick, it smells refreshing, and it just feels very hydrating, like very. And it's not silicone-y. It's not kind of like a moisturizer, but it has like a different feel to it. Hmm. I really like it. It's thick, but it feels really nice and smooth on the face. Okay, I'm gonna put on my foundation. I am trying the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation um, Longwear Weightless Full Coverage Foundation. Actually, I'm doing a first impressions on this, so I'll link the video up, up top if it's already been posted, um, and then I'll come back and kind of tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so I literally look like I have a mask on. The foundation I color I picked was way too light for me. I think I should have done like 305 tan golden. This one's medium sand and it was way too light. I mean, it looked like I'm wearing a mask. So yeah, let's put on some concealer. <sighs> I am putting on the Morphe concealer in 215. Yeah, I mean, look at that. If my concealer is darker, then I feel like it's darker. I don't know. And I'm not sure how I'm liking the sponge. I'm gonna use the sponge. But the Sigma sponge is firm, so it doesn't surprise me. Like the LA Girl one is softer. Whoa, this flat side packed on the coverage. Like it's not soaking up too much product. And it made my concealer like the maximum coverage possible. Whoa, it looks really smooth. Really smooth under there. All right, <clears throat> uh, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. 
All right, so I did that. You guys, this is one of the products I was too excited for. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in in Tantastic. Tantastic. This is one of those products that I kind of went out of my comfort zone to buy because it's expensive. It's a huge bronzer, but I was super nervous and I had been looking at this forever. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. This packaging calls to me. I love packaging like this. I love the shape. I love how thin and sleek it is. I love Marc Jacobs packaging so much. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I wasn't sure if I should get the darker one or this one. Oh, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I do not know what to think. Okay, I'm gonna start. reminds me a lot of it's a little bit darker this reminds me a lot of oh they look the same don't they the color pop bronzer this one's just like a tad lighter and I'm not gonna lie it goes on so smooth like a dream I don't know what to think about it I'm kind of digging it I'm really liking it but I'm not sure what to think about it. Like it looks like the blendingness of this is ridiculous, but the fact that I can see my darkness under here is like playing tricks on me. I'm trying to bronze up the skin so I don't look so pale and But this packaging is so cool. Okay. Alright. This is the biggest thing, you guys. The NARS orgasm. Let's get into this. Oh, love NARS packaging. It's another thing, like, their packaging is like soft touch, and I love that. Look at this teeny tiny brush. Oh, look at this little tiny color here. Everyone says this is the shiz. Everyone talks about orgasm. It is a long time cult favorite. People don't have to talk about it anymore and people still know about it. That's how good it is. So let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, pigmented. It looks really pretty. It looks really pretty and smooth. That's the difference between these nicer, more expensive products is the blending ability of this. This blends like a dream. You don't need to try hard to blend it. And that's the first thing I'm noticing about these expensive products. The other ones, it's like you have to, like the drugstore versions of different products like blushes and bronzers, you have to work a little more to blend them. Another blush I got as well was the Buxom Wonderlust primer infused blush because everyone's raving about it and specifically I got this one which is Mykonos so I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top I like the orgasm one it's nice I like it it's right up my alley I love colors like this I'm gonna try a little bit of this one as well well this one's like super peachy Whoa, it's a lot of blush on my face right now. I'll swatch them. This is Orgasm, this is Mykonos. Big difference, the other one's like super pigmented, but I like it, I like the peachiness. Okay, in the Box of Charm, if you your Box of Charm, I got the Pretty Vulgar Highlight in Sparkling Sass. Shimmering Swan Sparkling Sass, so I'm gonna put this on as a highlight. It's like a gold.
And then I'm gonna get this. This one also has like a peachy gold. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. It's like a more like peachy gold, and this is like a true gold. Okay. I'm looking super, super glowy right now. I also have like the Aurora face powder in Corderosa from Sigma. It's another blush, but it's like a neutral, natural blush. I also got this in my box of charm. This is the Tristique Priming Color Lip Glaze. Oh, there's a primer on this side. Oh, huh, interesting. Primer on this side. And this is the color English Rose. I don't think this color is going to match. It's definitely not going to match. That's English Rose, so I can't wear this because it's definitely not going to match. But I thought I'd show you guys that. Okay, I can put this on. It's like a baby pink color. Yeah, let's put this on. It's like a peachy pink. Lip gloss. I like this. It's nice. What do you guys think? Put on the Wet n Wild Nudist Peach. I know you guys are tired of seeing me do this, but yes. I think that looks better. I kind of want to try, this is just like me trying stuff. This is the um, ColourPop Mascara, the red one. I want to try it on the lower lashes and see how it looks. Ooh, I think that looks cool. I don't know if you guys can see from that far. I think that looks really cool, you guys. What do you guys think about my look? I'm really excited. I think I do really like this. I think I do like it. I have to look at it in different. I don't. I don't think I've ever tried a bronzer with this color. Like I still can't put my finger on it. What's so different about this? Um, I also got a new concealer, the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer. I'm gonna do a special review on this one as well. I think that's it. That's everything I basically got to try out and I basically did a full face. What do you guys think about my look? Comment below and let me know.